Hey guys, sorry that my hair looks like this and that I wanted to make this video to show you guys what my hair looks like when I do bleach it. Um, so this is a bleach um, on my hair, obviously. Um, now, Walmart or whatever um, started selling this blue stuff since I think the beginning of last year, um, which I did not like that at all um, because the reason why I don't like the blue bleach because the old one used to be white. You know, it's, uh, the brand is called Born Blonde. It's still Born Blonde. It's still that, but it thinks like um, I don't know something with the name blue in it, right? I can get the boxes out there. I just don't want to go and get it. Um, but I can put the name on in the description down bar. But it's the same brand. It's just um, a different kind, I guess. Um, there's like two different kinds at Walmart, um, but they're both blue. I think this is like the strongest one. I'm not sure. The white one, now the reason why I did not like it because it's blue. And the old one was white. And it was easier to see when it was done. Um, with the white one you can tell because my hair is like a Harper, Harper, <laughs> I'm not saying that right. It's color of a penny, okay? It's, it's not orange, but it, it's like brownish orange. I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's just copper, copper, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I could definitely tell when it got blonde, um, with the white bleach. This is kind of hard. You kind of have to get a strand and wipe it out. So, yeah, but, um, the white stuff, I had to leave in my hair for, like, and the white stuff was a lot more damaging, I noticed, too, a lot more damaging. Knock on wood that my hair is not going to fall out after I wash this, but, um, I've been using this, like I said, I probably bleached it about four times, because I, I usually bleach my hair every three months if not longer, because um, bleaching is bad for your hair, and I actually do, after I'm done bleaching it, like tomorrow night, I'll um, color my whole hair with um, the color that I bought, which I can go and get that box, I guess it's right in the bathroom, but um, this stuff, like I said, you have to wipe it and everything, but this bleach actually only takes like an hour and a half to get blonde. I had it in my hair now for almost an hour, and I don't know if you guys can see See, it's just so hard to see it, but I don't know. It's just really blue. I look like crap. I know. Um. So yeah, even though the white one was easier to see, um, it was a lot longer of a wait. And um, this, like I said, um, since it's blue, it has like that um, what is it called, lavender, I think, or something like that in it, which doesn't make your hair so messed up. Now, a lot of people don't like store, like the store bought bleach and stuff like that and color hair dye, all that stuff. But, um, honestly, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I have the reason why I stopped going to the salons. Um, the last time I spent was like around a hundred and almost two hundred dollars. And I told her I wanted my hair, um, blonde, all the way blonde. And, um, I remember at that time I was letting my hair grow out, um, so, but then I decided I wanted a blonde. We were going to go to Switzerland for a wedding, and I wanted to go blonde. I, I did not want to be two-toned hair color, and I didn't want to go dark, so I wanted to go blonde. I went to get it professionally done. I wanted it done nice. I didn't want to mess around with doing it at home. I wanted it to be done in one day, because this takes two days for me to do. I have to bleach it, then the next day I have to color it, and I just wanted it done immediately. Well, yeah, she did not, I don't know what the hell she did. Um, first of all, she put it all in foil like, the top of it, I don't know, she didn't bleach all my hair, my, all my hair needed to be bleached, um, you know, I did, and she didn't do it, and, um, my hair landed up, um, being really orange on top, because she didn't leave the bleach in long enough, um, she only put the bleach in for, like, a half an hour, so that, oh, her bleach is really strong, and it would be blonde, no, I have pictures of my hair, it's so embarrassing, I don't even, I was really upset, because my hair looked two-toned, and it was even more noticeable because my hair was like orange on top because as you guys know if you ha especially if you have like even if you have brown hair yeah even if you have brown hair and you leave bleach in your hair and brown hair for like half an hour it will turn orange because that's the next step to blonde when well, there's orange and there's blonde your hair goes through stages of colors so she messed up my freaking hair and made me look like an idiot at the wedding so after then I, after that I would, I would never go back I never went to a salon again and um, the only time I went to a salon was like at a supercuts kind of place to get my hair trimmed 
when I was pregnant with Savannah. And I was very picky with them because um, I had, you know, hair places like chop my hair off. I told them I only want a little bit off, just my ends. And I actually cut my own ends now because I just don't trust us salons. Um, they're a waste of money because they're scamming you because they don't even put the product on your hair. Not enough. You know, they save all the money they can. And honestly, honestly, um, I like how the store bought does. I love, I feel so confident after I'm done doing my hair. Like, I hate when my hair, my roots grow out because I let it, like I said, I let it grow out for about three months, which is like around two inches or more. So, you know, it's kind of funky there for a while, but I, I leave it like that because I don't want to da damage it, regardless if you're going to the salon or not. I mean, over-processing your hair with dyes and bleach is bad. You know, I'm not going to be ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I, I think the store-bought stuff's good, and I'm lucky because my husband does it for me. I'm not going to sit here and take credit for it. He does it for me. I sit in my chair, and he does it for me. So, yeah, um, he's, uh... Yeah, the only time my husband's ever messed up is only like he misses like a little tiny spot, like a little tiny spot. That's only happened a couple of times. Um, that's only because he's scared to bleach the my blonde hair that's already blonde. You know, like how you guys know, like when your roots grow out, um, there'll be your natural color hair and then um, your processed hair. You know, and he never wants to touch the processed hair because he doesn't want to, you know, make more damage, right? He don't want to bleach over my blonde hair already. So there will be a time where there's like a little tiny spot because, you know, he didn't want to go over the blonde hair. And, yeah, so um, not, it won't be like that everywhere. It'll just be like that in like in a few different spots. That's only happened a few times. My husband is a damn good hair dresser. He knows how to do it, and I'm very happy. Um, hopefully I don't go and wash this out and notice a whole bunch of red spots in my hair or whatever. Or, you know, not my hair is not red, but it's copper, and um, it's just easier to say red. So yeah, um, yeah, he's. I'm really grateful that he does it for me, and um, he's gotten a lot. He's gotten really good at it throughout the years. So I'm really happy with that. You know, and I call my hair red because it's just hard to say what it is. It's copper. Um, I used to be a lighter redhead or whatever when I was younger because um, if you're out in the sun and stuff, your hair will get lighter. But I'm a very dark copper color now. So that's actually a really nice color to be going blonde with because if my hair was dark, it would be a lot harder. Um, yeah, because I could get blonde within one step. So, yeah. But I'm going to go and show you guys my hair color that I uh, use to apply it on. I buy two of them. Now, I buy two boxes of bleach. Uh, that's how much it takes in order to um, get my hair blonde, I guess. And this is the color that I use. It's natural blonde. It is nine. Nine natural blonde. Um, and the thing with it is, I would have bleached my hair like a few weeks ago if my if my Walmart carried this. Like, they were out of it. This The only one. This is the only one they're out of. And yes, I could have bought, I could have gotten the color somewhere else, but I'm about to tell you guys something. You guys are going to think I'm totally nuts, and that's fine. Last time I bleached my hair, okay, I bought the product, I bought the bleach and the hair dye at a different Walmart, and I swear to God that bleach was like, the bleach and color like burned my head so much. It was crazy. So I did not this time. I bought the bleach at my Walmart because they have the bleach, um, but I did not want to buy the buy any, I don't, I do not want to buy the products at any other store, because every time it seems I buy it at a different store, my hair burns. Well, that wasn't the only time I bought a different store, but um, it was weird. It was really weird. Um, like, this usually doesn't burn me. If anything burns me, it'll be the color, because my hair will be, like, all traumatized from the bleach. But that time, the bleach hurt me, and that is not like it at all. Like, the bleach very mildly, like, in some spots, burns. But not, no, not like that. And I'm kind of, I was kind of actually scared this time to bleach and color my hair because that's when the bumps occurred. Like the bumps that I have, that's when I noticed them. And it made me have like scabs all over my head. <laughs> this is like so embarrassing. But seriously, my head was like, oh, it hurt. It was like infected from it. So, but it's good I don't feel that way now. Uh, maybe 
it won't be like that until after I put this on tomorrow, but we'll see. Hopefully this doesn't burn me. It usually doesn't. Not like that. That was weird. So I feel like something was wrong with their freaking products at that, that store. I don't I don't know. I might, I might just sound crazy. But um, yeah, I actually did have to buy this at a different Walmart, but not at the same one that I bought, um, I bought the color with last time. So, yeah. I'm probably not even going to post this video because I probably like crap. I know I look like crap, but I don't, it's not even a question. Um, so yeah, I have so many videos I have to post. I'm being real lazy. Um, well, no, I'm not being lazy because I actually try to edit a vlog. But then my stupid, I got new, um, uh, I feel like I'm repeating myself and I'm in deja vu because I made so many videos telling you guys this that it just makes me mad when I have to mention it again because I haven't been able to post any kind of videos. Um, I got new editing software for Christmas. My husband got me Sony Vegas um, 11, I believe, Studio 11. It's right here. Okay. I showed this to you before, but whatever. Um, yeah, I showed it. I did a video showing you guys. See? Um, it is Sony Vegas Make Believe Movie Studio HD. And it has 11 up here, so yeah, I don't know. It's just. It was only forty dollars. He got it for me for Christmas. Um, it's really slow. The program runs really slow, and I know that's because my computer is like out of memory. But I do make sure I have space on my hard on my hard drive um, before opening the program up because now I have an external hard drive, and I have been deleting pictures or po uh, adding pictures on my external hard drive and then deleting it off of my computer hard drive for their space. But it's still my my computer runs so so slow, and is so freaking frustrating to do. You know, to try to edit when the whole program freezes up. I don't know if it's the Sony Vegas itself or if it's just my computer running it slow. I'm guaranteed it's my computer running it slow. So yeah, I need some like stuff. What is that? Tell me, tell me what I need to make my computer run faster. Is it like RAM or something? I'm not all into that. So you guys fill me in on what I need. Because I want to get some stuff to make it run faster. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to have to wash this stuff out, or at least take a look-see at it. Because, um, yeah, it's been like an, over an hour. It's actually been two hours since he's like started it. But I've, I've just been waiting for like over an hour, about an hour now. Um, I feel like just updating you guys on everything, but holy crap, and I'm not sure if I'm going to post this, so I don't want to get too involved in this video. Um, but maybe make a video. It's a lot easier making it on the webcam because obviously it's already on my hard drive. I don't have to load nothing up. Um, what's really making me angry now is that I try to insert my memory card into my computer, into the, you know, the, into the computer slot or whatever, to the um, chip slot or whatever it's called, and it won't acknowledge the chip. So that means I'm going to have to restart my computer yeah, because I always had to do that when that happens, and I just haven't wanted to restart my computer. I'm lazy. So now my memory card's full. Yeah. So this is a really random video. I have so many videos I have to post. I have so many videos. It's not even funny. But yeah, I'll talk to you later because I'm just getting frustrated with the way I look. So hope you guys, hope you guys don't mind that I'm posting a weird, crazy video. <laughs> I'm sure it's a good laugh because I look like an idiot. But yeah. Um, yeah, if you guys want to bleach your hair, I wouldn't, now it's hard to say because I don't know if I would bleach, if I had like br dark brown hair, I'm, I'm not going to guarantee that your hair is going to be as light as mine because mine's like almost platinum, um, and this color makes it very nice, it, I just love it, it's just so natural and it's so pretty, I love it, obviously I don't look like, I'm lighter than her technically I think, or just like a it's kind of weird because I think my hair always looks kind of grayish. <laughs> that sounds ridiculous, but it doesn't. Like for like the first few days, I think my hair looks kind of grayish. The last time I did it, but I guess if I leave it in longer, if I don't, I don't know if it's if I leave it in longer, it looks kind of grayish, or if I don't leave it in long enough. I'm confused on that because sometimes it looks a little bit more grayish than other times. And I'm thinking if I leave it in too long, it looks sick. I don't know. But um, last time it was actually pretty nice. It was like almost like a little platinum color, but then as like months go on, it will turn more like to a yellowish type of blonde, like a normal kind of blonde. 
um, but I'm really happy with it. It is almost a $50 investment um, to do it, so it's not that cheap as you would think it is. Um, well, no, it's a little bit under it. It's about $40 because the color cost about 8 bucks, and then the bleach cost $9, so that's 18 and then, so, you know, yeah, around that, so around $40, something like that, I think. So, anyways, you guys, I'll talk to you all later, and yeah, hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's, and like I said, I made a whole bunch of videos, and I wish you guys all a happy New Year's and all those videos. I updated you guys on so much stuff, and it's crazy, so I need to get to those videos, because... I, you know, took time, like, they're long videos, and I took time into making them, so I don't want them to waste. So yeah, I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, as you guys can see, I'm done bleaching my hair. So, it wasn't that long of a process, um, tonight actually. The longest part was waiting for my hair to dry. And man, I should have really showed you guys what my hair looked like after I let it air dry. Frizz, Miz. I'm telling you, it was frizzy. Um, I had very frizzy hair, naturally, but what really blew me away was I usually, when my hair is frizzy like that, I guess, you know, let me scratch that. It wasn't... Throughout the years, my hair has gone down in frizziness. Well, that might sound insane. But as in, like, afro-ness. Um, I don't know, maybe it's because I straight iron my hair every day, and my hair is just naturally used to being, you know? But I'm, I don't got a lot of frizz. I used to get a lot of frizz. And I just put... Okay, first of all, I don't know how on earth this happened. But I would like to know who's coming to my house and using my stuff. Because I have been looking for this ever since I bought it. Okay, I found it under my desk. I know, I don't know how I got there. And it had like a few... Okay, it only has this much in it. Hmm, let me show you that much. You guys can see that, right? That much. Okay. <laughs> if any of you guys use this stuff, you guys know a bottle this size. Okay, I bought this July. Okay? Ju maybe the end of July now of 2011. Okay? The summer. Um, if anybody uses this kind of stuff, um, you guys will know that this size bottle can last you easily two years. At, if not that long, one year, okay? I lost it, like, probably a month after I bought it. Not even, seriously. And now, really, I don't know who's been using it. I was, like, looking like, how did it leak? And I'm all filling my floor. I don't know. The bottle was open, so, but I, I don't know. That blows me away. Now, I know my hair might look kind of frizzy to you guys, okay? It does have some frizz, right? But not how my hair usually has frizz. I put a couple drops of this stuff in my hair, and like, really? It, it really did so much for it. Um, this is after me only, like, straight ironed my hair a few times. Um, so it's not bad at all. I should have really showed you guys what my hair looked like. But it was all wet, and it was cold, and I didn't want to do a video. Plus, my husband was in here and stuff, so. Um, anyway, so yeah, um, I did make a video right before I just made this one, but I got interrupted by a phone call. I'm not sure if I want to use the beginning of footage of that one or what, but uh, probably not, because I kind of just started this one over. But I want to say that, um, I washed my hair three times, and you guys seen the bleach. It was blue. Well, the one thing I don't like about the bleach either is that it leaves your hair blue-ish, you know? On the back of my hair, my hair is like a light baby blue. It left like, it like dyed my hair. Well, no, I'm not going to say dyed, but it left like a stain in my hair. So that's not good. Um, it's, it's not a big deal at all, don't get me wrong. But I'm not about to go and wash it again, because that's just damaging to your hair. To be washing your hair more than three times in a night. Um, but I wash my hair, like, you, when you bleach your hair, you need to, you know, deep clean it or, um, deep condition it, so, I definitely, uh, it definitely needed it, um, so, I, but it's, like, really soft, that's another thing, too, back in the day, like, a few years ago, I would, uh, after I bleached it and I'm, like, washing it out and stuff, it would be, like, so stiff, 
I don't know, my hair just gotten a lot better. I don't know if the products have gotten better throughout the years or what. But like I said, that blue stuff is a lot better than the old one used to be, the white one, the white bleach. Um, so, yeah, um, about the blue stuff now, like how it's stained or whatever, the back of my hair. Now, usually straight ironing it will help it, so I didn't really go over the area too much because it was a little bit damp, and I didn't want to, like, you know, fry my hair. You know, water and heat don't really mix, so I definitely want to wait. I mean, it feels pretty dry right now. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to do that, um, you know. But I'm not sure if we're going to eat home or go out to eat tonight. Depends on my hair. Now, I never went out with my hair just bleached. And I never, not like out to dinner, no. Um, never had the guts to do that. And I know you guys are probably thinking, well, your hair looks, you know, looks decent. I mean, technically my hair probably looks better now than it did before I did, before I bleached it. Since it was like three inches of my natural color and blonde, so two-tone. But as you guys might can tell, it's not even. I mean, it looks really even on here, but you guys can see it right here. But, if I can, you know, get that blue stuff color out of my hair, and it sucks too, because I like, oh, I hate my bathtub, by the way. Hot water sucks in this house. Um, I wasn't even using hot water. I was using, like, normal temp, like, you know, like, warm water, and then, like, I try to turn it up, and then, like, I used hot water for a minute, then all of a sudden, I'm out of warm and hot water, and it went to cold, so, that sucked, because I had a, um, ugh, when you wash that blue stuff out, your whole bathtub will become blue, so, be prepared for that, and it'll look like little, um, seeds, or, I don't know, just, like, little pieces, I don't know how to explain that, um, so yeah, I had to, um, after I rinsed it out, it's just like you have so much bleach on your hair, and I usually dunk my hair. Now it's different now. If you just go in the shower, which I don't recommend, I honestly don't, if that stuff gets in your eyes, it will burn. And um, even when I get my hair bleached at the salon and stuff, like back in the day, I would put, I would be a, the biggest little sissy there. I would put a freaking towel over my eyes, because I ain't about to get bleach in my eyes. I don't think so. So, um, like when my husband does it, I put a freaking towel on my, over my eyes. I'm serious about that. So, if you, I just can imagine if you're in the shower, you know, rinsing your freaking bleach out, that bleach is going to come oh, down your hair. Because there's a lot of bleach. I put a, my husband puts a lot of bleach on it because I asked him to. Because I don't want to have to repeat my hair again. No, thank you. I like to get it nice and done one try. So, don't go in the shower and try to wash this stuff off if you have a lot on. Even if you don't have a lot on, you don't want bleach in your freaking eyes, okay? And it's going to be kind of impossible to do this and this, you know? It's not, it's just not good. So, um, go in the bathtub, and when you're dunking your head, there's just so much, and you have to, like, wipe it out, and there's just so much, you know? Um, just, it's really unbelievable how much color, or how much bleach you need just by, you know, because I don't bleach my whole hair, as you guys saw. Just the roots, you know, but... It's just so much. Your roots are everywhere. Your whole freaking head, you know? So you're going to definitely have to empty the water out, um, change the water out, and then spray the tub down, and then re, you know, add water again. And even then, after the second time, because I try to, obviously, after I'm done dunking my head off and getting most of it off, I will get the sh shower massager, put my head back, and just make sure all the gunks from the back of my hair is off. But I don't, you know... I, I try not to do the front, because I try uh, to lay in the bathtub and just, you know, wipe that out with my hands, um, with the mirror. Yeah, I always have a mirror. Um, I multitask in the bathtub. So, yes, um, even after the second time, you'll have a little bit, you'll see some blue coloring, but it's nothing to bother about. Then after that stuff's off, you can go free with the, sh you know, go with the shower massager, not like you're in the shower, you know, so same thing. But you're sitting in a nice warm bathtub, and it's nice to really sit in a nice warm bathtub. Unfortunately though, like I said, my bathtub um, was out of hot water or warm water, so I was kind of freezing there for a while. Or sucked. So, um, yeah, but for the most part, I left it in for like over two hours. Um, I didn't, I really did not want to redo it, which I never have to, but I don't, I don't even like the littlest, tiniest, missing spot in my hair. I like it to be completely done. And you have to take into consideration from the time you begin, obviously, he starts with his hair. 
this hair is going to be done first. Okay? Because by the time he gets down here, it's going to be like a good 45 minutes difference. So you have to take that in consideration. You know, you have to give this hair, you know, a catch up time from this hair. Because if you go and just go by an hour, let's say you put your clock on for the minute you apply that stuff on your freaking head, well, the back of your hair is going to be dark. So you have to equal it all out. And it's all even. People say, well, what? Aren't you worried about your hair turning white? Well, it's not. So, and it's even. All of it's even, as far as I can tell. I didn't like, I look pretty well at it, but I'm not going to sit here and guarantee there's no missing spots. But I doubt there is, because I, before I uh, washed it out, I made sure it's, after he was right done uh, bleaching it, I looked and tried to look through every strand, like noodle the hair, and I tried to make sure it's all good. And there was one spot that he missed, so we put the freaking bleach on it. I'm very serious when it comes to it, as you guys can tell. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'm able to go out to dinner tonight, but if not, hopefully I don't wake up with a headache or nothing, and we can eat here, so that would be awesome. Um, because I missed my cooking, and I'm not even going to get into when the last time I cooked. It's not, well, it's been a long time. So, um, since I cooked, like, my favorite meals and stuff like that. So, um... I like doing webcam vlogs. I like it because I don't have to worry about my camera dying or being out of memory or loading my chip on the freaking computer and all that crap. I like it because it's already on my hard drive and hopefully I can edit these vlogs easier and hopefully don't freeze up my editing software because I want to start using it. So warning you guys, well it's kind of too late to be warning you, there might be some glitter or there might be some kind of effects to this video because I want to try to play with my editing software. So yeah, um, I don't really know what else there is to talk about. I think my husband threw away the bleach box. So it the, definitely the brand's called Born Blonde. Is it Maximum Blonde or something like that? I don't know. I could find out if he's really interested, but yeah, I mean, my hair is damaged just because, you know, like I don't take good care of it. So like if you're looking at my hair thinking, oh, it's just damaged hair. It's just because I'm not very good at taking care of it. So don't judge the bleach from the store and the color from the store from the way my hair looks. But honestly, considering how little I do, I just do very little with my hair. So considering that aspect, my hair is pretty, is in pretty damn good, is in pretty damn good, <laughs> is in pretty good condition. There you go. There. I'm going to try. So, yeah. Um, it's very light. I don't know. I don't really want to post the bleach video, but I think I'm going to have to for this all to make sense. And I don't want to be wasting my time here talking and talking. But yeah, um, I wish there was more I could talk about. But I guess I'll make a new vlog if so. And it's weird wearing makeup. Like, lip gloss like this. I'm not used to it. So, I'm just used to the stuff that doesn't really shine, which is disturbing. I feel like showing you guys. I guess I could show you guys, why not? Hey, I'm over here abusing my printer, so hold on. I'm gonna make this vlog a lot. I just want a circle. I'm gonna show you guys my freaking little damn pen. Look at this. I got this at the Dollar Tree a while back. I think it's the Dollar Tree. Yeah, Dollar Tree probably more like. See that? It's a pen, you guys. I named it Fanny. I'm so random. Yep. I want to start doing more videos. I miss doing videos. I need so darn many videos with my freaking webcam. Not my webcam. With my uh, camera. But the little sucker dies all the time. And like I said, the editing software freezes. And I just got the editing software on Christmas. It's just so hard. And it's just so hard to load up to my computer because my computer's like dying in memory. I had to delete so much uh, stuff off my hard drive onto the, and then add it to the external hard drive, and you know, it's just, ugh. Then I talk way too long, and just so many videos I have to edit. That's a problem. Because it's not like I'm having to edit things out of it. That's not it. I want to edit clips together. And, you know, so that's the problem. And then, like, it takes forever for the Sony Beta, because I have to save it. This is when you to save it, so that takes a long time for it to load. It's probably because my computer is real slow, but I'll show you guys the lip gloss and makeup. 
that I'm talking about that I usually use. Okay. First off, I bought this. Um, it's like a really soft material from Walmart um, after the holidays, whatever. It's like half off, so go me. Okay. Okay, so see this little sucker. I just got, see I did a vlog showing you what I got my friend for her birthday because I got her a few gifts and I ran up getting myself like a couple of the same ones. So okay, see this? That looks pretty darn dark, right? Oh, that's a tongue twister. Pretty darn dark. Pretty darn dark. Okay. Well, it's not. I'll just put some on just to show you guys. What brand is this little sucker? Megan Sleek. Her. Mega Sleek. Jesus. Come on, green lady. Okay, see that? It looks pretty dark, right? I'll just don't mess with this because I like this. It's... It tastes, <laughs> it smells so yummy though. Didn't really do much. It just makes it maybe shine. And it, it's really glittery looking. That's why I bought it. I just thought it'd be like a really, let me see that sparkle, but it's not focusing. Anyways, mm, it's yummy tasting. My sister got me some primer, um, eyeshadow, yeah, eyeshadow primer. Hmm. So you put this on before you put your eyeshadow on, and I love the way it makes my eyes feel, which sounds creepy, but, um, it's really cute, too. I love it. I put, I do put my, um, eyeliner on, though, prior, so it's gonna be a little bit yucky looking. So, but it just Okay, my mom got me for Christmas, I'm going to show you guys, and I'm going to, okay, you guys might think I'm a bitch, but I don't care, but really though, okay, before I show you guys this, what she got me, I put makeup on with my freaking fingers, okay, now that's just me, even if it comes with a little bit jigger, because the eyes, you know, I still use my fingers, okay, it, that's what, that's what works for me, and I'm no less of a girl because of it. Well, my mom, bless the woman, really, really, okay, she got me brushes. Do you guys know how much these brushes cost? Now, I'm going to try to pronounce where they're from. Safari, I think, $44. After tax, $47. For one, two, three, four, six brushes. Lady is crazy. That, that's almost fifty freaking dollars. She's saying that I'm not a real girl because I don't put my makeup on with the brush. I mean, fifty dollars, really, for brushes? I told her I'm never going to use them. I'm not. Honestly, I'm not. She bought me a hundred dollars straight iron, and she, the woman knows that I have thick hair, okay, and I like big ones. Yes, it might be a cheaper version, but it's, it still, um, has all the, the fancy plates or whatever, right? It's still good, okay? Just because it ain't a fancy name, which is like it's Con Air, okay, whatever. So what? That's what works for me, okay? Okay, now the one she got me is beautiful last, last year for Christmas, okay? I'm going to show it to you guys. This vlog is way too long, so if you're still watching, bless your heart. Okay, it is beautiful, but it's only a one inch. Might be a half inch. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just going to show you without ruining it. This baby is sparkly glitter, and I... Ah... God bless it. I didn't have the heart to return it last year. It was too damn pretty. But it's too small. And that's a waste. But hey, whatever, you know. I love my mom. She tries. But the thing she does wrong is she never asks what I want. Another thing that she got me this year. She spent way too much money on me. Way too much. Like $80. That's way too much on me for her 
income that she has and for everything she got the kids and everybody. I don't even know how the woman does it. She probably doesn't eat or something. I think she don't. Because just because she wants to give us a good Christmas, it's just ridiculous. She got me um, a crock pot. We already have two. So, but this one's really nice. It's all digital. It's all fancy. And I don't really want to return it because it's so fancy, but we got two. We can't return those now. It's past the time. We haven't even really used those at all. We used one once. My sister listens, though. She When she came over Thanksgiving, she brought over her big pot where we can cook, like, a whole pound of potatoes, literally. I loved her pot because we eat a lot of potatoes here, and we only got, like, a little pan. Well, it's a big pan, but it's not nothing compared to her pot. I'll show you guys. I probably did in one of my videos, but I'll show you guys again. My sister bought me a big pot so we can probably literally cook a whole pound 10 pounds of potatoes, I don't know, pounds, I don't know, it's a bag you buy, you know, at least half of it, yeah, so I'm so excited to use that, we actually bought a new frying pan, because ours is kind of broken, this is a nice one, so I'm excited to use that, so maybe we will, maybe we will cook tonight for dinner, who knows, so, um, yeah, God bless our mom, but geez, Louise, but the kids got her something, not, something money cannot buy, you know those big white poster things, I guess? You know, like for school projects, big white, you know, black, po I don't know. Well, we taped pictures of, I printed, because I got a printer a few months ago, I printed pictures of the kids as babies and of her holding them and just, you know. So they both made her one, and uh, they wrote little things on it. So, oh, I went by her house today and saw it. She has them right in her living room. They're big, and I think I might take some pictures of them, so I got pictures of her opening them. Maybe I'll insert those in this video. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just make a, a separate Christmas video. A lot of cute pictures of the kids. A lot. So I need to get my lazy ass off of being lazy and post some of these videos. I need to start editing this video. And you guys have something to watch. So yeah, sorry that my parents might not look the best, but hey, whatever wanted to show you guys my hair. I probably will post the video. I do have to edit the video with the bleach on my hair because I kind of, eh, I had to add something in and I forgot, so yeah, anyway, wish me luck on that. You guys can't wish me luck because by the time you see this, I already had my luck and already did it or something. So anyways, you guys, that's it for this video. Um, if you have request videos for me to do, on like the webcam, me vlogs, then please let me know what those are. I can't promise family vlogs. Eh, not at the moment. Maybe I don't know. It's just that takes a lot of time, and because there's so many little clips I have to edit. Now I could edit the webcam vlogs of Wimmy, uh, Wimmy's, <laughs> Wimmy's Movie Maker, Windows Movie Maker. The only reason why I can't use Windows Movie Maker is because of my camera. Wherever it is. Better be charging. Oh, here it is. Okay. That's my camera. This is Samsung. Whatever. But, yeah, it's not compatible with Windows Movie Maker. So, mm. um, so I have Sony Vegas for that. So, but I think Windows Movie Maker is easier to use. And maybe it doesn't fry up, you know, freeze my computer as much. So maybe I'll use that for this editing or maybe I'll just try Sony Vegas out on something more simplified videos. You know, this is like a smaller video file, so maybe I'll try it on this and see if it's easier and doesn't freeze so much. Because I want to see if I can use some of the effects. So I apologize if this is like a crazy, glittery, pinkish video around edges. I'm not sure if I put titles on it or just, I'm just going to fiddle around with it, I'm just going to be honest. So, yeah, request, you know, don't, what kind of tags don't you guys do? You want me to do some tag videos? I know some of you guys request that before. I know there's a few of you that love the family vlogs. I'm sorry, but um, I'll try to bring that back sometime, maybe this month. I'm not going to promise, you guys. I should just do the uh, New Year's resolution vlog. I did one on my camera, but, yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to end this because it's probably way too long. So, if you guys want to hear my New Year's resolution vlog, 
Whereas I'm going to make one of those and then let me know and as a comment or write me a message. Whatever you guys want to do. I did make one. But I just saw the was good. I ramble and ramble and talk about too much stuff. Why? And all that stuff. So yeah. I'm going to let you guys go. You guys watch all this. You guys watch this whole video. Say, Ammo loves me. Okay? That's your code word. Ammo loves me. Not you, but me. Just write me. Ammo loves me. Okay. Thanks for watching, and talk to you guys hopefully later, and hopefully soon, hopefully I post this. So yeah, talk to you later. Bye.